Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my 11th update for my Lip Project Pan for 2022. So I've been doing a lip project for this whole year, and there's been like a panning portion and then a like roulette, trying using all of my lip products throughout the year. So I've been doing sort of monthly picks, and we're close to the end here, guys. And I feel like this project, it has been it's definitely been more successful than my palette project and my nail polish in the sense that I'm definitely going to get through all of my lip products um, or at least try all of my lip products at least once. Um, and I really enjoy this project. It's really getting me to use my products and get familiar with what I've had in my collection. I might do a bit of a declutter at the end of the year, like very small. Um, because I feel like there is a couple of items that I could maybe call out, um, but I do love lip products. It's probably my like Achilles heel. I know a lot of people like eyeshadow palettes or blushes, but for me, for me, it's the lip stuff. And I, I don't even know why, because it's not like I wear lipstick every day, <laughs> but I just, I love it and I can't explain what it is. So let's get into the uh, panning portion of this project. So the lip balm that I am working on is this Avon uh, lip balm. It actually has like a bit of a cinnamony, like I've said the scent is sort of like, it's spiced, what is it called? Spiced cider. It definitely has like a plumping effect. I've noticed um, if I'm reapplying this a lot that I'm like, oh, my lips, I think there was a video where I had like a little weird mark under here and I was like, it's this. This is definitely has like a plumping effect or that like, you know, that cinnamon. I have a product coming up that's all about that. Um, I mean, it's mild, but because I'm reapplying this quite a bit, I was like, oh, I've gotta be careful not to go outside the lines too much or we get sort of the like Ronald McDonald redness <laughs> around my lips. Um, but I'm enjoying using this and I'll continue to use this uh, through the end of this project. I don't know if I will continue panning this particular thing, particular lip balm into next year, we'll see, but definitely through until the end of this year. So last month this was nine grams even, it's now 8.52 grams. So that's a difference of 0.48 grams. Next up is the lip mask that I'm working on and this is the Bite Agave lip mask. The packaging is like really rough. You can see like it's getting way down there now. Like there's not a whole lot left. I mean, this is like a lot at, at the same time though. Like that's the biggest portion. Um, I, I was confident that I was gonna finish this by the end of the year. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, mm. It may not be done, which is fine. It's fine if it's not done. Um, it'll be close. Uh, I don't want to like stress myself out about that. If it's done, it's done. If it's not, it's not. I don't mind this product. Um, I actually enjoy using it like during the day. I don't necessarily love it as an overnight mask. I feel like it doesn't last. I feel like like I can put this on in the evening while I'm like watching a movie or something thinking, okay, I'm putting it on before I go to bed. And then like an hour or two later when the movie's done, I'm like, I kind of want to put some more on because I feel like it just wore right off. Um, so anyway, it's fine. I don't know if this product, like I know Bite is sort of dissolving. I don't know if this product will still continue. I don't know if it's going to be like a Becca thing where a couple products still continue. Um, so last month this was 7.39 grams. It's now six grams. So that's a difference of 1.35 grams. Next up is the lipstick that I'm using, which is another Bite product. And this is the lipstick and honeycomb. It's definitely like small, but like this has taken a really, really long time. I do know like when I think about what it was like at the beginning, there was definitely a lot of product. Like minis, minis are totally worth it. They take like just as long, I think, as a regular product. Um, I don't think I can draw a new line. I drew a new line last month. Yeah, no, no new line this time around, but there's definitely a weight difference. So last month this was 7.77 grams. It's now 7.72 grams. So that's a difference of 0.05 grams. This definitely won't be done by the end of the year, which is kind of sad that I won't have like a lipstick done by the end of the year, but I just, I've accepted my fate with lipsticks that like I can't finish them. <laughs> They're way too much for me to finish. Next up is my lip oil. This guy kind of took a hit this month um, or like this past, since the past update. So I did go to Disney, I was in Florida. I didn't take this with me when I went away. So this kind of fell by the wayside. Um, it's just one of those products that like I just didn't want to bring with me. I brought something else. Uh, I brought a different lip gloss instead. So yeah, this guy just didn't really get as much love as it could have compared to other months. So this was 27.68 grams. It's now 27.52 grams. So that's a difference of 0.16 grams. 
And last in my panning portion is my lip gloss, and this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Snow Pink. And like, I don't know how well you can see this. I could call it here. <laughs> like, it's getting really hard to use. I think I will try and take the stopper out and see, see how, how clear I can get this in the next update. Um, but after that, like, it's done. Like, it's, it's technically done now. Like, it's really hard to scrape. I'm really scraping the sides. I didn't take this to Florida with me, but I did use this quite a bit over the last month. It just paired really nicely with a lot of stuff that I was using, and I just, I gravitated towards using this. Um, so last month, this was 27.39 grams. It's now 26.82 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.57 grams. And because that lip gloss is pretty much done. I am going to roll in another lip gloss. I know that's kind of like double dipping, which is always a bit of a challenge when you have like multiple products in the same category, but I think it's feasible. I think I want to get started on this next product and it's just a mini. So I am throwing in this Patrick Ta uh, Major Glow Lip Shine in She's Expensive. So this came in a lip kit. Um, it's the only Patrick Ta camera does not want to focus on it. It's too shiny. So it technically does show up clear. This is duplicate for me like it's very similar to the so juicy lip gloss that I have from what do you call it Colourpop um, it's very similar to another lip gloss that I'll, I'll show shortly um, and I just feel like this is something that will show progress like if I use this in the next couple months I'll definitely see some progress I don't expect to finish this um, I do like this guy it's kind of a good one to throw in my purse but I just want to like make some progress on something <laughs> and so I picked this one. So I'll throw up the family photo. I'm not I'm not going to throw up um, a photo with the Patrick Ta in it. I think I'll just do a separate, I'll do an individual photo shoot with Patrick Ta. <laughs> um, and he's like the cousin that's gone to college so his picture is like separate from the rest of the family. Um, just because I'm getting lazy. It's easy to like do the family photo. I like doing the family photo because it's all at once. It's not like six five or six different photos I need to edit but when you change out a product it gets kind of annoying so I'm just gonna do the family photo with everything in it and then we'll do the Patrick Ta photo separately so there won't be any photo for that for this month because there's no change but I will have a photo next month when I show the whatever difference there is so now that we've talked about the panning portion let's move into the pics that I was using last month so my picks for last month feel very far away uh, because I went away at the beginning of November so I didn't use any, I haven't used any of these since before I went away which was like, it's over a week ago or no it's not over a week ago now but it's like a week and a half that I didn't use any of these products so they feel like, they feel like a long time ago except for one because there was one that I did take to Florida with me. And I have been weighing all these products and there is a weight change on all of them. I did use all of them a handful of times. So the first thing is the lip plumping, no, so what do they call this? Plumping Nudes from Essence. And this is in 04, that's big. I liked this. I feel like it can look a little pale, especially when I have a bit of self tanner on. I was thinking about bringing this one to Florida, but I decided against it because it just felt too similar to, I brought one of my, the, Bambi lip glosses with me which was like a clear one and this just didn't have enough pigment to it to really have a difference for me. So last month this was 19.01 grams and it's now 19 grams so a little bit of a difference but not really a whole lot. The other lip gloss that I was working on this past month was the Bare Minerals. I think this is called, what's it called? The Gen Nude something or other. Bare Minerals Gen Nude Buttercream Gloss and Heartbreaker. This is a fairly pigmented gloss. Like it's one of those glosses that's like it's close to like a liquefied lipstick. Um, and this is what I took to Florida with me as my like colored lip product because I had the Avon lip balm. I had that uh, Disney lip gloss, which is pretty clear. And then this, this was sort of like my colored lip product. And I really enjoyed using this. Um, I really like this product. I like the color. Um, it's just enough pigment, but not too much that it's like worrisome that it might travel. Um, this is a great like in between. I don't know if they make these anymore. I remember these being really popular at one point. Um, yeah, I don't know if they actually make these. I don't know if I'd ever want, if I'd want a different color in this, I'd want something that's a bit more brown maybe. And that would be it. Like I could just go with like the two colors and I would be happy with that. Um, last month this was 27.03 grams. It's now 26.96 grams. So I actually have not done the math on the difference. So let me just do that. Hold on a second. So that's a difference of 0 0.07 grams. The lip tint that I was working on was this Clinique lip tint in black honey. And this is something that I thought, um, 
I would use a bit more, but then when I went away, I didn't take this with me. So I didn't get a whole lot of use out of this. Something that I wish I used more, but because I have so much, I can't use it as much as I would like to. So maybe this is something that I can throw in a panning project in the future so I can really feel like I am using it. So last month it was 8.97 grams. This month it's 8.96 grams. So that's the difference of 0.01 grams. Next up is my first lippy pick, and this was the uh, lipstick. It's a mini from MAC in Velvet Teddy. I really enjoy this. Again, it can kind of look a little pale when I have self-tanner on, uh, so I like to pair it with, I was pairing it with the lip liner uh, this past month, which, which I really liked and I used quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I think I like this over honeycomb. I've been using the Bite Honeycomb, and I kind of regret throwing that in the project pan because I feel like... I feel like I would have got more love out of this or more enjoyment out of this. So, I mean, it's fine that I'm using the bite one and I'm just using it up, but I think I like this better, which is fine because this actually exists still and the bite one is going away. So last month, this was 9.55 grams. It's now 9.53 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.02 grams. Next up is another bite product. This is the, um, it's a limited edition lipstick. It looks kind of plain and ordinary on the outside, but when you open it up on the inside, there's like a little Toronto with the word Toronto on it. And that's why I bought this because I live in Toronto. The color on this is okay. This is not my favorite kind of color for me. Um, it's like a slightly muted orangey red and it's just, it's not my favorite color. Again, it worked well with the lip liner because I could like deepen it with the grunge lip liner, which is the lip liner I used this past month. Um, and I also found that this is pretty dry, but if you throw a bit of lip balm on before it, it goes on really, really nicely. Um, this is definitely a product that eventually I will be able to not use anymore because the bite products are like all natural. So it's gonna go bad. It doesn't smell bad right now, but it's starting to, I can tell it's starting to go. Um, I can probably use it through next year, like, and that, that'll be it. This guy was interesting to use. This is the Oil of Olay Lip it's kind of like a lip gloss and a lipstick formula. It's in the shade Silver Slipper. I wore it a few times just like straight up kind of on its own and it's kind of interesting that way but it does pair better with other stuff. Um, this is something I just I don't know what to do with. Like I like it. I don't want to get rid of it but I just don't use it so I don't know. It just kind of sits there. I need to be more creative with this. I need to maybe put this in like a specific project like in a project pan or like in a use it a number of times thing to just really really figure out how I can use this a bit better because I like it. I just, I don't know how to use it very well <laughs> or use it like effectively, if that makes sense. Um, but it's an interesting product. It doesn't exist anymore. Um, I don't know, at least as far as I know, you can't buy that anymore. Oh, I didn't talk about weights. So this one um, was 20.64 grams. It's now 20.62 grams. And that's a difference of 0 0.02 grams. And the Oil of Olay lipstick was 18.79 grams. It's now 18.76 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.03 grams. Next up is my Urban Decay lipstick in 1993. This is the Ultra Comfort Matte, I think was the formula. I like this packaging. I'm kind of sad that they've changed up the packaging because I think this is really attractive packaging. Like this is like quintessential lipstick packaging. Um, and yeah, I really like this lipstick. It's one of my favorites. Again, I feel like I don't wear it enough. Uh, but I feel like it's only good at a certain time of year. Like, I don't want to wear this in, like, April. <laughs> it feels weird to wear it in April. Um, it's a very fall lipstick to me. But yeah, I really enjoy the formula. I know it's like a matte, but it's not drying. It's definitely not as dry as the Bite lipstick. So last month, this was 20.7 grams. It's now 20.66 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.04 grams. Next up is this liquid lipstick. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Besso. Um, there's a reason why this is a classic. This is really, really nice. It's not 100% transfer proof. I feel like it can wear and transfer. Like I still have to be careful with it. It's not like it doesn't stay 100% on me, but the color is beautiful. And I find if I apply it with like a lip pencil or a lip brush, because I get too much product out of the like, what do you call it? Little wand. Like you can see, like it's, there's so much product all over that wand. Um, this one always, like, ever since I've had it, and I've had another one of these before, these smell chemically. Like, they're very chemically. <laughs> they don't smell great, um, but definitely a nice product. I don't know if I would purchase this particular one again. I think if I were to purchase a red liquid lipstick, I think I would go for one of those um, CoverGirl ones. It's got the two steps. You have, like, the, the color, and then you have the gloss over top. I feel like those 
for me, um, just last a little bit better and they're a little more comfortable. I like being able to apply that balm on top and it doesn't really disturb the color underneath. Um, they were one of my favorites. I only have one left. I definitely want to purchase more of those. Like they were my office lipsticks because they just, I didn't have to worry about it transferring it moving it looking like it might wear down during the day, but it always wore down like nicely, not like flaky. Um, yeah, and this is like a pretty intense color. I don't know if I would purchase this particular one again. I'm not a huge liquid lipstick person though, so that's my two cents on that. So last month this was 23.44 grams, it's now 23.42 grams, so that's a difference of 0.02 grams. And last up is the lip liner, which I've already kind of mentioned a bunch of times. This is the ColourPop lip liner in grunge, and I wore this a lot. I talked about this a lot um, this past month, I feel like. I've mentioned it several times. It's one that I always keep thinking it's darker than what it is, and it's not. It's actually lighter than what I have on my lips right now, and it's just the right amount of depth. It's a nice pencil. It's a nice color. It can deepen some things like the Bite Honeycomb. I can wear it on its own with a lip gloss. I can wear it on its own on its own. And it's not too dark. Um, I like, I'm sorry I've ignored you so much. Um, cause I feel like it's almost, it looks intense. Like it's going to be this like really deep brown, but it's not. It's like this nice mid-tone brown. Like if you're looking for that, like just mid-tone brown, I feel like grunge is, is a great one. I think it still exists. I think this is not one that <laughs> ColourPop has gotten rid of because they get rid of stuff all the time. So yeah, it was definitely a good month, but it just feels very distant to me because it's been a while since I've used pretty much all of these products. But I did enjoy this past month. I felt like there was nothing in the, the project that I was like, ugh. The only thing that was maybe the hardest thing to use or the one that I love the most is this. Um, and again, I've talked about this, like wearing reds with my hair and then this is like an orange with my hair. It just feels very clashy. <laughs> it doesn't, in my mind, go very well. Uh, this is fading out pretty, it's starting to fade out pretty well now. So yeah, those were the October lips. So now let's talk about the November lip picks. Okay, I scooched over a bit so I can put photos up here of the lip products. So every month when I do the new picks is when I do the photos. So if you wanna see the photos of the lip products I just talked about, those will be in my previous month's video. Um, now that we're kind of like at the end of the road, I ended up just picking lip products. So this, well, this particular video is going up a little bit late, but the lip video has been kind of going up like within the first 10 days-ish of each month. So the next month is short if I wanna finish this project at the end of the calendar year. I haven't figured out yet what I'm gonna do, if I'm just gonna roll, like, do the finale of this at the beginning of January, or if I'm gonna just finish this out in December. And so what I've done is, and I've talked about this in previous videos, like originally I had like 12 products per month, some were picks and some were rouletted. I started winding that down because I realized I like pulled some uh, lip tints out, I pulled some, what do you call it? liquid lipsticks, like decluttered some of those. So those categories got smaller. And so what I've done, I think I've had about 11, between 10 and 11 products the past few months. This month I have eight products. And then the final update, I have seven. And I've tried to like sort of balance it between color and product type <laughs> and to make it work for me. So everything I've, that, that I've done for the rest of the year I've picked. So there was a method to the madness on what I've picked this past month. I've definitely over explained that. So let's just get into the products. So the first uh, lip gloss pick is this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is the clear version. This came in a lip kit. I'm pretty sure I did a whole video on that lip kit. If I did, I will link it above and below. Um, this does say clear, but it looks like it has, like it's almost iridescent, but when you put it on your lips, it is clear. I'm gonna put up three photos. I'm gonna put up a photo without the lip product, a photo with the lip product, and then a photo with the lip product rubbed off three minutes later. And I think you can definitely see, I don't think it makes my lips look bigger, but it definitely adds like color. My lips are like irritated. <laughs> um, it definitely brings some some color, flush to the lip. Um, and I feel like it smooths the lip out. Like I feel like my lip felt smoother um, after I applied, applied this. I don't know how long that effect lasts. Like, it's been maybe 20 minutes since I've done that and I have lip, lip product covering my lips now. So I have no idea what they look like once I take this off. Um, but yeah, so I mean, this is a product that I like. I'm the kind of person that likes this, but this type of product is not for everyone. 
I definitely don't think it's for everyone and you have to be careful, kind of like the Avon. You definitely have to be careful with this, even more so than that Avon lip balm, to not go, like keep it close to the center of your lips because if you start going on that the lip line, you're gonna have like, you know, Ronald McDonald, Joker, like your skin's gonna get really irritated on the outside of your lip and that does not feel good. Like I definitely don't feel this product anymore. Like I said, it's been about 20 minutes since I applied this, uh, doing that lip swatching and I don't feel like I put this on at all. Like I don't feel that at all. Um, so yeah, kind of curious to play with this. I'm probably not gonna use it a whole lot cause it's not a product that I definitely do not want to pan this type of product. Um, cause it's not something you want to reapply. Um, but I, I enjoy it. I enjoy the novelty of this. I find it fun. Would I ever buy it in the future again? Maybe, like if it came in a lip kit or something or a like point perk, maybe. Next up is another lip gloss. So this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the shade Sandstorm. So this is the newest one that I bought. So this one actually looks a little different than the Snow Pink one. Um, you can see the packaging on the outside is a little bit different. Actually, let me just show you compared to this one because that one's coming up. Let's just talk about both of these at the same time. Um, so this one is in Supernatural and this one is in Sandstorm. Sandstorm. So you can see the outer packaging is different. And then I'll show you the, the wands. The wands are very different too. They've definitely changed the wand to be like a Fenty wand. I don't know if that's because the one, I don't know if that's because the one shade, um, which I finished up, I can't remember the name of that shade, is very similar to Fenty. Um, let me put them back the way they were. So this is Sandstorm and this is the older one. So this one is Sandstorm and this one is Supernatural. Sandstorm is the newer, newer wand. I like the older version better personally. That's just me. <laughs> um, yeah, Sandstorm's the newest one to me. I think I bought this one last year. I like this one over Snow Pink. I feel like Snow Pink can look a little pale on me, whereas this one just gives me sort of gloss. Like it's there's it doesn't lighten my lips. It's just sort of gloss, but it could definitely lighten a color if I need it to. Um, but I do find this, yeah, this one's similar to the Patrick Ta one. It's similar to that ColourPop So Juicy one that I have. Um, so it's definitely redundant in my collection, um, but it is pretty new as well. So I'm not like in a rush to use this one up. And this is like my favorite lip gloss formula of all time, I think. I think. As for now, anyway. <laughs> it's definitely one that I would like repurchase. And um, I've looked at the other colors though. I don't really think there's any other colors that I want other than I probably repurchased the one that I finished up, which I can't think of the color name right now. And so I also decided to pull this one as well, just to kind of play with the two together. This is again, the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade, uh, I think it's called, what is it called? Supernatural. And this one, I think it's a great name called Supernatural. Cause to me, this is like my lip color. Like it's great lip color. I can just throw this on and not think about it. Um, you can kind of even see in the packaging, I've used almost half of this one. Although this is a pretty much, like this is an older lip product for me. Like I said, I really enjoy that formula and I really like that color. Next up is a lippy stick. So this is the lippy sticks in Brinks. This is supposed to be a matte, but, or sorry, it's Brink, but it's not very matte. I don't know if it's just my formula has kind of gone off. I've had this for a really long time. Um, this is similar to other colors, but it's like, it's, it's a brownie pink. Like this is definitely an everyday wearable color for me. I really enjoy this. I am slightly mad at myself because I like ding the top. So it doesn't have the shape anymore, <laughs> which is really annoying. Um, but I really love the lippy sticks. I love the shape. I love the formula. Um, don't love that the packaging wears off. I mean, I like the packaging, like I like a slim, a slim lip, but it's annoying that the packaging wears off. That's probably like the most annoying thing about, uh, these particular products. But yeah, and I think this product still exists. I think this is a classic that's still, it's still around. Next up is another Bite Amuse Bouge lipstick. This is a, again, a mini. This is in the shade Rhubarb. And this, this used to be my number one shade until I bought Pepper and Pepper knocked this off the throne. Um, so this is my number two shade. I think I, it goes for me, Pepper, Rhubarb, Chai, then Honeycomb which is weird that I decided to pan honeycomb. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Again, I feel like this is supposed to be matte, but I feel like this one's not very matte at all. And yeah, this is just a really nice color. I feel like this is a great fall winter color. Like to me, this is a very like holiday. If you don't want to wear red to a holiday, holiday party, this is the kind of color I would wear to like a holiday party or like going out because I feel like it's fancy. There's something like just a bit punchy, but not too bright about this color. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoy this lippy. The only thing that's a pain with these, I, you can probably see it, it like the small lipsticks that they're a bit wobbly in their packaging. And that, that's not a bite thing. That's like all 
miniature lipsticks. I don't know what it is, why that is. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoy this color. And, you know, potentially I would pan this one in the future. I don't know. I don't know if I would pan it, but I definitely will enjoy uh, playing with this over the next month. Next up is this Hourglass uh, Lip Stilo. What was the name of this girl? Lip Stilo. And this is in the shade Futurist. I really enjoy this. This is like a nude that I can wear. I feel like it's not too nude. I don't have really any self-tanner on right now. I think with self-tanner it might be too pale. Um, but I like this because it's a nude, but it's like a creamy nude. It's not matte. Um, this again came in a lip kit. I, I don't know if I have a video of this lip kit. I might. If I do, I'll post it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this guy. I don't know if this like line still exists. They had some really nice colors in this line and I, I know it's a nice formula. I just feel like probably, yeah, probably the issue is you get a lot of product. I feel like you get, this is just the mini and I feel like you don't need a lot of product to apply. And so it probably lasts a really long time. So you don't need to buy them very often. Um, but yeah, I remember when this line came out, like I wanted more colors in this. Um, I really enjoyed this product. And then I decided to also pick this Hourglass lip product. So this is the Hourglass, they call this the Ultra Slim High Intensity Lipstick. And it's definitely like a very intense pigmented lipstick. Again, you don't need a lot of product for this. This is in the shade Secretly. This is a beautiful red. This is like the lipstick version of the Beso one, I would say. Like maybe even a bit more, a bit more neutral, a bit more like on the cool tone blue side. Um, I love this. I love this formula. I'm not a huge fan of the red, so I got this in a Lucky bag. I keep saying I'm gonna buy another lipstick because I do like this formula. I just have not gotten around to buying another lipstick because they're super expensive. So, but maybe someday, someday I will buy. I hope they don't like, by the time I get around to doing that, that's when they like discontinue these. Although maybe if they go on sale, that's when I buy it because then it'll be like, well, they're discontinuing it, so I better buy it. Um, the packaging is a bit weird. Like, I'm not sure I love this. I wish this was like, can we just like round this off? But I love the thinness. Like I do love this slim lipstick and this is definitely super pigmented. Like one swipe and it's like pigment. Like you don't have to go around and around. And because it's red, I need to be careful because I can't apply too much. Um, but yeah, beautiful lipstick, beautiful consistency, beautiful, like again, pigmentation quality. Like this is definitely worth, this is definitely what I would expect from a high-end lipstick. Um, and I love drugstore lipsticks. Like I love, I think there's great quality from like Maybelline and CoverGirl. Um, but this is definitely like, if I'm going to spend the money, this is what I expect. And it's, I think it, it meets that expectation. And last up is my lip liner. And the only reason why I picked this lip liner is because it's the last lip liner that I haven't used out of all of my lip liners. And this one is the Bodyography Lip Liner in Black Current. It's what I have on my lips today paired with, um, Sandstorm. So that's what I'm wearing right now. Um, I don't love this. I got this actually for free. Well, I guess I paid for it, but this was in like a goodie bag when I went to uh, Trinidad as part of Carnival. There was a couple things. I can't even remember what else was in that, but this was the item that I got. There was different kind of makeup items in, in those goodie bags, but I'm pretty sure it was all bodyography because my friends got, I think, different items, but same brand. Um, I just find this really stiff and it's so stiff that it's hard to get like I like to wear a lip liner and sometimes just like today, like fill in my lips with it. This one's really hard to fill in your lips with because it's so stiff and it's a deep color that it's kind of patchy. Um, I mean, on the plus side with it being stiff, it definitely like stays, like it's gonna wear a long time. Um, and the reason why I keep this is because I don't have another lip liner like this. This is definitely more of a berry compared to grunge. Like it looks maybe similar in the swatch what you think grunge would look like. But there's definitely more of a berry hint to this instead of just brown, like it's a berry brown, um, not quite brown brown if that makes sense. Um, so that's why I keep it around because it's just one that is different. If somehow I got another lip liner. Like I wouldn't go out and purchase a lip liner to replace this one. But if somehow I did get a lip liner that was like pretty much the same color, but a better formula, I would definitely be like, yeah, goodbye. We had our time together. Goodbye. Like I really just don't use this one very much. So that's it. That's my picks to use for the next month. I'm really looking forward to that. I uh, like using these products. Again, it's a smaller set of products, so it should be a bit more comfortable. I won't feel so rushed using the products. I'll be able to 
you know, use my panning products without feeling guilty that I'm ignoring other stuff. Um, it is just a bit more manageable. 12 products was a lot in the previous months. Was it fun? Yes, because it was fun to use a lot of different products, but it was, it was definitely a lot to try and work through. Whereas I feel like this is a little bit more achievable to play with these products as well as using my panning products. And like I said, next month, I only have seven products left to use. And then that'll be it. I will have gone through all of my lip products, plus stuff that I bought. Because like I said, I had those um, ColourPop lip glosses, the Disney, the Bambi ones. What else did I buy? I can't remember. Oh, there was the Wet n Wild one. That was the one that was like the dud of all, <laughs> all of the lip glosses that I bought. There was the L'Oreal one that I bought. Um, I definitely have, there was another one. I can't remember. But yeah, so I've gone through all of my lip products. I've used all of my lip products. And that makes me happy. That brings me joy. Lip products bring me joy. I just have to like keep it, you know, keep it contained because I definitely don't want too many. Cause you can definitely, like, I feel like this is a lot. Like I know that I have a lot. It would be nice to pare some of it down, but I definitely admit that I have a hard time doing that because I love these items so much. Um, like I said, I, there's a few now that I'm thinking about that I've gone through everything that I could maybe, I should maybe try and be strong and just declutter a few items that are just really not working for me. Anyway, I hope you like this update. I hope you like this project. If you do, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.